The Day Show. Sponsored by Onga. If you're tuned in to TV3, you're welcome to The Day Show. And of course, every weekend, we make sure to entertain you the best way possible. This time around, we're trying to find out how dancehall and reggae music came into collaboration with medicine and of course the great things that have come out of it and so we're delving into the world of medicine and music all together and it's going to be an exciting one so thank you so much for tuning in my name is Berla Mundi and a big thank you to Alfimo GH if you love the furniture behind me make some noise yeah. well you can find them on the Splintex Road close to Manette Junction walk in and get quality yet affordable home pieces for yourself but also big thank you to shapes by nelson for my lovely outfit and also to nafsi mua and hair affairs by aisha it's good to have my studio audience my dj is ready we're all ready and so when we get back we'll go straight into the bu question of the day we'll meet dr kofi and then shortly well you remember i said that there's some collaboration between medicine and dance or reggae music we'll come to that as well don't go anywhere this is the day show we'll be right back <laughs> Bella is beautifully styled by BV Styling. Furniture on the Day Show is sponsored by Alfimo GH. we have in store for you first up it's time for the BU question of the day we'll dance a bit and then we'll meet our guest for today so who's asking the question there you are hello please come to the center <laughs> hello handsome gentleman hello. what's your name my name is Vincent Beck Vincent yes, what please. institution are you coming from if I may ask Accra College of Education I see nice so talk to me all right um you are one personality we cherish and admire so much Aww. talking about your confidence <laughs> level true? yes Oh. And then how fluent you are. And so we would like to ask, what are some of the mistakes you made in life that you wouldn't want us to repeat similar mistakes? Well, thank you for that question. Um, <laughs> I, I think it's a very intelligent one. I'll just choose one. And then maybe my guests can also share a few things with you because I know you love them as well. But first of all, I think that I started chasing my dream maybe late. And I'll say late because it was after I was done with uni that I got into the field of media. And by that time, I was very green because I hadn't had any experience. And so if you ask me, I wish that I had started maybe when I was in secondary school in terms of trying to get into the media space. I was doing a few things in school, but I, it was because I was afraid. I wasn't sure how it, it would go. I was scared about people accepting me and all that. So my confidence level was very low. And I guess it's also because I didn't have people around me who thought it was a good idea to go into the media space. So wherever you are, whoever you are, I'll tell you that if you have a dream, if you have a passion, start now. Because it will take a lot of years to build upon your experience. But if you start early enough, I'm sure by the time you're ripe, you'll still be young enough to enjoy everything. And nobody come and tell you you're too old for this industry anyway. Okay? So all the best. But I'm sure that our guests Especially one in particular will tell us what mistakes that she made when she was much younger and something that she wouldn't want you to repeat. But until we meet her and our doctor, of course, let's dance first. Who's dancing with me today? Let's do a TikTok challenge. Oh, there you are. Okay, hi, sweetie. Come, come, come. Woo! I like how you're dressed. What song do you want to dance to? Um, Butter My Bread. Butter My Bread. That seems to be coming up a lot. That's by Last Mid, right? Yes. Oh, you want to add one more person? Yeah. You want to add one more? Where is she? Oh, hi! Come, 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 come! I hear you're a good dancer too, so please join her and I'll follow your lead. Hey, okay! I see, hey! She's doing the dance that I like. Oh, make some noise for them! Thank you so much! Give me a hug at least before you go! 
Thanks, sweetie. Oh, Thank yeah. you. And maybe after the show, you have to teach me. Because the moves were too quick. I couldn't figure it out. When we get back, we'll go straight into the yellow corner. And one very famous TikTok doctor will be joining us to tell us how it's like to be a doctor on social media. We'll be right back. <laughs> Introduce our first guest for today. You guys are all on TikTok, right? Yeah. So do you know Dr. Kofi? Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> do you know him or you don't? Which is which? Yeah. Oh, you do, right? Okay, well, he's in all whites today. I'm wondering what we're celebrating, but of course, having him on the show is worth celebrating. Please put your hands together for Dr. Kofi! <laughs> Hey, Dr. Kofi is final. Please have a seat. Or do you want to dance? Do you dance? Do you dance? Let's do something. Let's do something. Let's do Thank you, thank you. How long have you been a doctor? Um, six years in practice now. Six years? Yep. yep. Okay. Are you a general practitioner? Yes, um, I'm still under training to be an orthopedic surgeon, but I'm, I'm still a general practitioner. When you say orthopedic now. surgeon, what does that mean? So orthopedic surgeons, we fix bones. So broken bones, anything that has to do oh. with people having accidents and getting broken bones, any bone deformities and things like that, yeah, we fix them. But how did you end up on TikTok? Yes, so um, I, I actually started TikTok not long ago. Okay. My first video was posted in 2021. Mm. Yes, um, I was on leave by then, in the middle of the year. So, I mean, in 2020, um, TikTok has actually rose to fame by then. And during the lockdown, everybody was watching TikTok. So mm -hmm. I also started seeing videos of, of, of TikTok around everywhere I go. I, I still hadn't downloaded the app yet. And then I realized it's actually a nice platform you can use to educate people mm -hmm. because educating the public has been something of interest. So I, I just started watching videos on TikTok. I downloaded the app. I still hadn't posted anything. I didn't even register mm -hmm. until 2021. Well, you have to register as well yes. on TikTok. They, you, have to, you have to get an account. Oh, that's what you mean. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so people will just download it and be watching people's videos yeah. without doing anything. You have to register an account to be able to post a video. Okay. So I just downloaded it, watching people here and there. And then in 2021, in the middle of the year, I was on leave. So mm. I had some free time. And then I decided to test the water. So by then it was just me flexing around my hey. own usual videos. What were you flexing? Your oh, muscles? Then, because Charlie, uh, the way you're sitting <laughs> now, I can see that. You have tools. Nothing like that. Well, okay. I, st I still had some muscles by then, but it was more of, you know, you go, you go out and you take a video. Yeah. You know, I posted some of those videos. And every subsequent video I posted got more views and more likes so mm -hmm. it became a bit interesting and then I, I i was just testing the water so um later part of the year in the beginning of 2022 i decided to enroll the health education okay so um initially <laughs> i um initially I, I started by trying to talk about the health topic so i i, I get a topic and then i'll just set my camera there mm -hmm. and i'll talk but then it wasn't getting enough views. Yeah, we don't like serious stuff, Yes, because do people don't want to listen. They just want to watch. They, uh, they're on the app for fun. I yeah. mean, they want to see what's going on, the nice dance moves and things. So yeah. a friend, a friend, by then a friend advised me, okay, instead of talking, why won't you just type it and then let it appear on the screen? Mm -hmm. So I started typing it. I was still not dancing by then. I would just put the camera there. If there's a trending song, I will just come and sit there. I mean, I'll be pointing on the screen. So mm. when you look at the left side, a text will appear okay. here, here, and then, yeah. And then I started getting the views, so I realized, okay, people actually, they just want to watch. So when you say started getting the views, like how many viewers would you get? Um, so then? my first my first hit vi video was, it wasn't even ab about a health thing, it was about relationships. Okay. I, I actually talked about um, how to spot a player. <laughs> 
most person and, on the team. I know is is well. How do you spot a player? So I'm not one. The point of correction. I'm Guilty not one. But have but we but he's a player? no no. Yeah. I'm just. I mean, I have I have friends who now you're throwing your friends under learn, the bus, and I learn from them. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I learn I learn what they do, and I decided okay, I have to do a video okay. for, for them. So someone who is always hiding their phones from the woman. Mm. That person is a player. No, 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 not necessarily. Ah. You have to add a few things. You okay. Know. In medicine, if you want to diagnose something and there are symptoms involved, you have like diagnostic criteria. You have maybe five of these symptoms and other symptoms will come hey. together. I'm just trying to, you know, okay, extrapolate carry on, it. Yeah. Carry so on. For someone to be a player, they have to have certain qualities. Yeah. He's always talking to you only at night. I mean, uh -huh. when probably the weather is cold and they're only mm. turning their phones away from you, all yeah. those things, trying to hide things away from you. Oh, it's a lot. I, I don't actually remember them, but, but I did, if your I did partner video talks like that. to you only at night, and during the day he or she <laughs> says they're too busy with work. Well, there's a likelihood. Yes. That they are cheating. There is a likelihood. It's a possibility. Who is on this table? I stand cheating? to be corrected though. <laughs> Who has experienced this before? I'm sure everyone has. You have, eh? He was lying to you. Did you catch him later? <laughs> or you're lying to me? <laughs> okay, but how has your um, updates on TikTok affected the lives of people? So, as I said, educating people has, has been a priority. Way back in medical school, I used to be part of the education committee. And what we did was, during weekends, we go to radio stations mm. to discuss a topic. And then we get phone in from people listening. They'll ask questions, we answer them. We then direct people to the appropriate uh, healthcare yeah. services. So, after school, and then I saw the app, I'm like, okay, this is a good way to go. So, I did my, my test and I realized it can go. Then... I started. So the, the thing is, people these years, I mean, young young people like us, we barely will you hear someone say, I'm sitting by the radio to listen to health talks or sitting by the TV to actually watch a health talk going mm -hmm. on. We are all on social media and, and it seems everybody's on TikTok, everybody's yeah. on Instagram, everybody's on Snapchat. So then I decided this would be a nice platform to get the message out there because mm. virtually everyone is, is on the app. I see. So I, I started, and it, it has been very impactful. Okay. If you actually take one video of mine, and coincidentally you happen to get the same condition, then you realize how much message you are getting from yeah. the video. Although it's going to be like 36 seconds or maximum one minute, yeah. you realize what you got from that video, you probably won't even get it when you go to the console. So do you combine it with dancing now? Yes, I do combine it with dancing. So as I said, I started by just sitting down, the pointing, and, and then... I, I, once in a while, I would join any of the TikTok dance challenges if it was ah. that easy because I'm not really good at dancing. But with what you did, I think you're not bad. Well, I'm, I'm learning. You're learning, it's, eh? it's a gradual process. I, I, I think at the point you realize all the dance moves are almost the same. Uh -huh. They just modify it per mm. the song. So now any dance move, I can confidently say I, I'll take a day or two, but I'll be able but to pick it up. But you still try. Now, what, <laughs> what has been the most difficult part of TikTok for you as a doctor? It's the time to actually do it because mm. I, I almost work like 12 hours every day. Mm -hmm. So I, I get to work, I, I wake up around 6, I get to work by 8, and I stay over till like 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then I get to home by 10. So from 10 to before I sleep, that's the time I get to go on social media. What time do you sleep? 2 a.m.? Uh, 1, 12, 12, 12 and 1 So between that period, you're trying to catch up on everything yes. plus TikTok? Yes, yes. That is it. So I, I, I actually, if I see a nice dance challenge mm. and it's easy enough to learn, I'll, I'll learn it at home. Yeah. And then I'll go to work the next day. The moment I close from work, I get some five minutes, I do the dance and I go home. Ah. I come home and then I have all the topics. Sometimes I have topics there already. Sometimes oh, I get the topics from, okay, from, from patients I see. Okay. And the frequently asked questions I get. Some, some of my viewers will comment. Oh, doc, um, I have this condition. Can you please help me with it? Yeah. If I get the same question coming multiple times, okay, then I have to do a video on that for people. Ah, I so see. I will prepare the topics and add it to the dance. And uh, so the time is, 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 is really... So at what time of the day do you talk to your girlfriend? Since you have already given us a criteria for who is a player and who is not. And you say you work 12 hours a day. Mm -hmm. So you only talk at night, right? No. No. So, I, well, the thing is, if... I'm also if, a detective. Now we are asking questions. Of course. Answer the question. Course. Prove to us you are not a player. Good. So, um, if you have 
the passion and love for someone, you always try to make time for them, uh -huh. right? So I wake up and the first person I call is my woman. Aww. And then I ask her how her night has been okay. and catch up on a few things. It's not a lengthy call. I mean, it's, it's, I'm trying to prepare for work. So yeah. I just check up on you. During the day, text messages, I send you a streak if I'm doing something, or and then I come home, okay. and then we, we talk before I sleep. Oh, you so. always talk every night? Yes. Before you sleep? Yep. And she waits for you because you get home late? Yes, she will. She doesn't mean sleep early. Oh, wow. On the car, on that car. Oh, wow. <laughs> I see. That's nice. Yeah. But, I mean, quick one. So if you have to give anybody watching you health tips mm -hmm. this afternoon, what would you say? Um... Let's be guided by the messages we get from neighbors and, and people around. Because most times, as, as the Ghanaian culture, anytime someone gets sick, they will ask a neighbor or a friend or a relative, oh, there's, there's a lump in my breast. Yeah. What, what does that mean? And uh, if that person doesn't have any idea, they, they are going to obviously tell you what they know. Mm. And two blind men leading people, they're definitely going to fall in a ditch or something. So... Be careful with what you get from people. Always take the initiative to go to the hospital if yeah. you don't understand anything. And and be be quick with your 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 response to your health health matters. Because yeah. that's that's the reason why I actually started this thing. People will come to the hospital in a really bad state for a very small condition that could have been sorted out in minutes. Yeah. The, let's say you get malaria and you decide not to treat it then it gets into anemia. It, it be, you, be, you get complicated by anemia, then kidney failure, and it can get to that point, cerebral yeah. malaria. Then the time you bring the child, the, the child already has anemia, has mm -hmm. cerebral malaria, mm -hmm. and at that point, even if you're able to cure the child, they go with these permanent disabilities yeah. and yeah. things like that. Say if it was your breast and you didn't go early, by the time you get to the hospital, it has already metastasized, you are now in stage four. So screen your breasts. Okay. Especially for women. So the, the message well. is, as early as possible, if you get any condition, go to the hospital. Or, talk to, the to, hospital. or talk to the right people. Okay, let's do a breast screening exercise before you go. <laughs> Raise your hand, show us how. For so, everybody, and breast screening is not only for yes, women. Yes, it's, it's for everybody. It's for everyone. Okay, show me what to do, <laughs> and I'll screen so you. So you, for every examination, you start with an inspection. Yeah, okay, so I'm let, coming to you. So the patient show me. that sits on the, on the chair or uh -huh. on the bed, and then you look. So look are, at what are, exactly. Look at the breast. What you are, what you are going. So you, you are, are wearing a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you are wearing a shirt. How? Which breast am I looking at? Oh, we will do it backstage. But okay. I'm, I'm giving yeah. you the rundown. So when we get there. No, right, what about you do? I'll, I'll try it on you. So yeah, look at right, the breast. So, I'm looking. So you are looking and you are looking for symmetry. If one breast is bigger than the other, uh. if there are any skin changes, if there are any discoloration, no, naturally, there are also is... everybody has one breast bigger than the yes, other. Yes, yes, yes. But then obviously. Okay, you know what? Maybe you should stand so that right. I can. Uh huh. Yeah. Talk to me. So if one breast is way bigger than the other, you, you can I pick check it up. if yours is? You Am I allowed? Yeah. How? Okay. Okay, you are fine. Carry on. <laughs> And then you inspect the nipple as well and everything. Hey! Yeah. Okay, how do you inspect? Do you squeeze? No, you by this time, you are only looking. You are not even touching yet. Mm -hmm. And then you come to palpation. Which is? You are now about to touch. Oh, that's what it means, okay. Yes, yeah, so we divide the breast into four quadrants. How? You Imaginary your, lines. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. So here, through the nipple, like uh -huh. the, the nipple has the middle. One line here and then one line there. Okay. So now we have the upper outer. Mm upper inner, upper lower, so now four quadrats. Uh -huh. And then you start by palpating with the pulp of your finger. Uh -huh. So you, you touch against the breast wall, the chest muscles. Yes, good. Mm. I think you've done this before. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but you do that over and over? Yes. Okay, so what, what, hold on guys, so what do you look out for? And I'm, I want to educate people with this. So when you're doing that, you're looking out for lumps, Okay. for any um, disparities in the breast tissue itself. See, the breast tissue itself is lumpy. Mm -hmm. If you've ever palpated, you've held one, like I'm sure the guys, I mean, you've held one before. You oh, realize there are lumps, are already there are lumps, there are lumps in it. But when you find an extra lump, that's why you need the experienced hand. Okay. Then you would pick it. Most times it will just be something like a firm mass over there. You just yeah. palpate it. And then again, you try to let them activate the pectoralis muscles to see if the mass is attached to the muscle. How do you do that? So they hold their waist and okay. they squeeze. 
So when you squeeze, you see that muscles are ah. there. And if the mass is attached, when you try to move it, it won't move. Okay. okay. Then you know this mass is not just a benign mass. It's I probably cancerous. Okay. Yes. But beyond that, you have to go and see a professional exactly. so they can check exactly. for a few other things as well. Exactly. Dr. Kofi, how do we find you on TikTok and other social so media? So it's Dr. Kofi G H on all social media platforms. Yeah. You can find me there. Thank you so much. Nice Thank you. Where you. do you practice, by the way? Um, currently, I'm a resident in orthopedics in Konfanoche. Ah. And I also work with a private hospital, also in Kumase. Nice. Uh, Metro Health Hospital. So we'll come and look for you. Come, come, come. We will. We'll definitely go, right? <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining nice us. And all the best. Mm -hmm. Keep up the good work on social media. Thank you. And I'll definitely check you out. All right. <laughs> Take care. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you learned something from it. Most importantly, don't wait till it's too late before you go and see a doctor. As much as possible, get screened for whatever disease it may be. If you notice any changes in your body or your system, Go see a doctor. Speaking of which, she picked up six out of nine awards when she was at the KNUSD studying dental surgeon, uh, or dental surgery, more like. And well, a year later, she got married to one of the most popular artists in Ghana. Are you ready for some dance or reggae music? Are you ready for my telele? We'll be right back. Louisa will be joining us. Don't go anywhere. Charlie, I Two at this point, filter. So I hear what is it a prayer? Is it what is it exactly? Is it a prayer? So what was he saying exactly? Putongs. <laughs> Who can do the putongs here? Can anybody do? Oh, there you are. Okay, please come. <laughs> no, a browning Katia Mata here. You're sure you can do it? Yeah. Okay, high five. All the best. Let's go. DJ. Anyway, I guess you know why we're playing this song, right? Of course, we've been hyping that. We have a very special guest in the studio with us. And like I said, back in 2016, I actually had the honor of speaking to her when she emerged one of the best students at KNUSD in the medical field because she won six out of nine awards. <laughs> Unbelievable. Little did I know that she was actually a stone girl under G. Make some noise for the wife of stone boy, Dr. Louisa Seteca. to hire a lawyer then someone who can perform this is what into the future yes we're gonna find someone who can perform that okay deal deal okay you're gonna do like a collaboration okay and okay okay we'll see it's like you don't know the lyrics or oh i do i do okay so who's gonna do into the future for us okay there you are please come so let's see if we can do a collaboration thank you thank you very much so do you do i take it that into the future is your favorite on the album hmm i still haven't been able to pick one favorite because you know with the way the album is you kind of have a favorite every other day so i mean into the future is definitely one of those um favorites why that one in particular um it's a nice vibe i know what you're trying to say <laughs> <laughs> but i mean i like the song okay and, yeah but you also worked on the album i kind of made an appearance on yeah. it yeah yeah you can say that how did that happen so that's I was dozing off, and then I just said reptile and dental. And hey. then he was like, <laughs> Okay. And then he was like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so I went and took a nap. And by the time I came back, he was done with the song. And they had actually um, pulled out my the vocals, what yeah. I said, and then they used that as the intro of the song. Just like that. Just like that. So that's how that happened. So so wait. <laughs> <laughs> Do I take it then that you are going into music, kind of? Oh, definitely not. That's that's not. Uh, let's leave the music to Stone Boy. I think oh. I'm very comfortable in um, my field and which is medicine. Yes. Yeah, so. But what dentistry to be precise? Yes. Yes. I remember I met you the first time. She was yeah. a shy looking young lady. Yeah. And we we're all very young then. This yes. was what 2016 when I yes, interviewed you. Yes, 2016. Yes. And you swept six out of nine awards. Yeah. Let's go back to that time because I'm sure a lot of people were wowed by how all that happened, and now here you are. Years later, married to Stoneboy. Tell me a bit about 
you know, school, KNUSD, and how that went for you? Um, so school was, um, I think I enjoyed my time in school. I was always striving for the best in terms of the academics, always trying to put in the work to make sure I was always on top and mm -hmm. all of that. And at the same time, I also had a side hustle I was doing in school as well. So that kind of always put me, I was always, you know, on my toes to yeah. try and get things done. I hear you were and a fashion well yes yes i had a side yes i had a side fashion business where i used to um design and make shoes and bags mm. made in ghana okay and so yeah that was on the side and then you know i had the school stuff going on did you give that up the fashion part uh no okay. it's still there but it's i'm doing more of i'm doing it more on a large scale so i don't really need to advertise it much so mm. but that's also still there but i see that you've moved on to become a global ambassador for what world oral health day yeah. and all that so that means you've really grown in your space yes I have. and that's beautiful to watch thank is it not you. Thank you, thank you. but tell me about you know how the journey has been for you in the field of medicine and eventually becoming an ambassador for many brands yes so um well, with me, when I started, naturally, I'm very low-key. So, um, you know, I was just sticking to my work, you know, and everything. Funny enough, like you were saying, um, I was, you were actually the only person or the first person. Yeah, I don't really do much interviews. So, well, your interview was the first one I did after mm -hmm. school because they, um, it was two of us, two ladies yes. that swept all the awards. Yes. So it was kind of like a big deal, and yeah. we did a couple of interviews. So on that day, I don't know if you remember, but Stone kept texting in the show. He was... And I was like, oh, God, because before I went, I told him, make sure, at that time we were dating, so no one knew about me. I so see. I was like, make sure you don't hear. I was like, hmm, I'll today, I'll tell everybody. I'm like, no, no, make sure you don't. So in the, uh, during the interview, he kept texting in and saying, oh, wow, she's very brilliant. Congrats to her and all oh. that. And uh, when, anytime you read the message, my heart just <laughs> sank. I was like, he's going to give us away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but then... Um, from that time on, we went on to get married, you know. A year later, right? A year, yeah, a year later. And, you know. I'm so naive. <laughs> I, I didn't pick on any of the clues Yeah, at you all. didn't. Yeah, like we pulled a fast one. You did? Yeah, but then um, I went, we, after we got married, obviously, it came with a lot of publicity and things like that. And I realized that I wanted to use my platform or the following that I had to kind of impact the people who were following me. So... I noticed that kind of knowledge gap even from school. Sometimes people come in and gen they genuinely do not know about certain conditions and mm. what um, things that affect their health and all of that. So I then decided to use my platform um, for some of these things. Yeah. And um, it actually ended up attracting some of these eyes, like the World Dental Federation reaching out to me and saying that, <laughs> you know, That's huge. that was huge to make me a global ambassador for World Oral Health Day okay. and things like that. So I think that, you know, as we've gone along the journey, we've matured and, you know, we've got more eyes on us. Yeah. And so we are pushed to do even more. How's influencing been like in terms of impact? Because I know that every week as well, you put out, you know, some tidbits on how to take care of your, yes. um, your teeth, your yes. everything. Yes, I, you, um, Dr. Kofi, he was just here. He was my junior in school. When I saw him, I didn't make him out because now he's all you buff, buff and yeah. everything. So he came and he's actually a twin. So he was asking if I remembered him because they always used to come and meet me at the library or at the study room and ah. leave. You know, when they leave, I'll still be there and they'll be asking, won't you leave and things mm -hmm. like that. So um, he's also doing great with influencing and all of that. It's um, a space that now we found ourselves in. You know, social media is such a great tool to use for anything for your business mm -hmm. and for educating people and all of that. So I um, have kind of, I'm still figuring it out, but I have kind of figured out how it works. People want to be ent um, entertained, mm -hmm. and at the same time, they would like to learn. But if you come straight to them with, you know, like a lecture, yeah. you don't engage them as much. So True. that's what I've been, you know, taking advantage of with the TikTok and all the, the Instagram. And things like how did you pick this up? Is it from, you know, what you saw your husband do over time? Yes, definitely. Okay. Definitely, I have picked up a few so things. So he's influenced your style of influencing? Yeah, I'd say that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'll say that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see. I know you do a lot of charity. We'll come to that. But you, mm -hmm. let's talk about Stoneball <laughs> right? and how that is going. Because, again, like you said, he almost wanted to give you up during that interview in 2016. Yeah. But you weren't comfortable yeah. with it. So does it mean that the spotlight is really not your thing? Um, I think I have kind of gone spotlight. You know, let me um, give you a bit of a perspective. Generally, when you strive to do the best in anything, the spotlight kind of naturally comes to you mm. so like i'm saying 
um, I had that interview with you at the time. You didn't even know, you know, that I was with Stone or whatever. And it has kind of followed me all through. Mm. Like from school, I held a few leadership positions. And so I kind of did have the spotlight at certain points. I yeah. mean, then as God would have it, I ended up marrying somebody who is definitely in the spotlight. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, I think I kind of adjusted or, or maybe all of those were building me up yeah. and I've kind of adjusted to... So you're enjoying yeah. all the attention. I'm still very low-key and you, I see you that. notice that it took a while for me to even make my social media pages public. Yeah. I've been running away from this interview and so many I other know. interviews. I if I tell you how long I've been chasing <laughs> Louisa for maybe a year or maybe less. Yeah, almost a year. Yes. Yeah. No, but I'm grateful that you came. Yeah. And I know as you're talking about wanting to be that private person, then your kids also come into yeah. it. And you have two beautiful kids. Yes, thank you. I so do. we have what, Jiduda? Yeah, Jidula and Janam. Jidula and Janam. Yes. What does Janam mean? Janam um, is rain. It's, oh. it's ewe, so okay. to rain. And then Jidula means a winner. How are you able to protect them and shield them from all the attention? Because whether you like it or not, yeah. now both of you are celebrities yes. and everybody wants to know everything about you. That's definitely true. Um, you know, I used to post them a lot when they were um, a bit younger because yeah. they are definitely two very entertaining kids. You always have a funny video that you want to share, but at the same time, sometimes you're like, oh, do I want everybody to see this? Yeah. So I think now I'm beginning to have some form of balance in terms of what I put out there. But at the same time, when I don't, they get more engagement even than I do when I post on their social media. Is they have it? tons and tons of views and all of that. So people definitely want to see that. But, you know, I'm we're trying to control that because now they're growing as yeah. well. And so we don't want to put them out there too much. Yeah, but I, I've seen some videos of Jidula. Yes. Rapping, singing. She's a star girl, so she's always... They both like, you know, they are very much like their dad. Oh. They are entertainers, naturally okay. entertaining. So... Um, they, we have a lot of that. You know, so we don't have a likely dentist between the two of them at the moment? At this point, I can't really tell. Hey, okay. <laughs> I can't really tell, but let's see how it goes let's as they see. go, you know. But did you guys see some videos of Jidula when she was singing? Oh, you loved it, huh? I can imagine. But having all that and still juggling, you know, your work, taking care of your kids and your family, dealing with everybody on social media, how do you do it? Um, hmm. hmm. I have to kind of decode that in my mind. Generally, I think that it's all about, you know, trying to ha find a balance. And, you know, you have all of these things that you have to do. So now what do we do? Yeah. You have to kind of plan. You have to be intentional about a couple of things, like spending time with the kids, because that's very important. Yeah. They always need you there to share moments with you. And then also work has to be done. Mm -hmm. So it's I think planning goes a long way in terms of having short-term goals, long-term goals, what you want to do. And then also being intentional about, you know, being present at yeah. every point in time for anything that requires your attention. Mm. And then, of course, there's the God factor that sometimes we tend to overlook. But yeah. You know, his grace is always sufficient and always, you know, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, together. somebody. So, Amen. Should I, should I put you on the spot? <laughs> no, please don't. Please oh, don't. You don't want I, to tell I know us your, your favorite read, memory there. I've read your mind. Please don't go there. But yeah, God is good all the time. <laughs> hey, okay. We'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. But yeah. but you got married at what age? 22? 23? 20, 25? 25 there about. On hindsight, would you say it was too early? No. Would you have waited no. a little longer? For? For marriage. Why wait? Why not wait? Um, so I think that, you know, life is not you know, a linear process where you have to wait to accomplish this and have 100% success in this before you move to the next thing. If it happens and you feel like it is right, you have the support of your family, mm -hmm. you know, I think you should definitely go for it. I'm um, somebody who is very ambitious and goal-oriented and same as Stone. So um, I noticed that he was going to be a great helper for me to achieve my, pursue and achieve my personal yeah. goals. And so, I mean, that's, I think, put it all together for me and it helps. So I think that, um, I don't think I got married too early. Too early. And I think I'm still um, um, pursuing my dreams yes, and all of that. Are. So I'm, the job is getting done. You said something very important. So you noticed something about him that made you make the decision. The mm -hmm. fact that he was going to help you also achieve your goals. Yes. Just like you'd help him. So yes. you'd say that that thing is very important in choosing a partner? Yes. I tell you, even when I was in school, like these are some of the little things that, you know, tell you a lot about the person. When I was in school, 
and you know I was, I'm studying for exams and things like that you know he works a lot at night too they are always in the studio and stuff and he knows maybe I'm studying I'm staying up to study he stays up with me keeps calling are you still awake you know he would actually quiz you about what you learned to make sure that you weren't dozing off those kind of little things you know kind of <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, I mean, imagine he'll say, okay, send me the slides you were reading. He'll go through and he'll ask you a question on slide maybe 25. But did he even sure. understand what he was reading? No, but at the same time, <laughs> <laughs> at the same time, he was, you know, putting me on my toes to make sure that I know I'm going to be quiz, so I better read and understand this yeah. thing. So those kind of little things were all green flags that, yeah. you know, helped to... Um, make that decision. I won't lie, people were actually surprised in a very good way yeah. when you guys came together. And I'm sure you saw all those posts as well. I did. Like, Stoneboy has like gotten one of the best women in Ghana. Yeah. She's someone who's bagged awards in school, etc., etc. Et yeah. That I must have that. felt good, huh? Yeah, but at that time, I was still trying to hide. I was like, how? because we tried to keep the wedding a secret, but I mean... We found out. Looking, look, think, looking back, I don't even know how we thought that was going to happen. You didn't invite me. <laughs> That's just by the way, I wasn't expecting it. Yeah, I know, but, but then, yeah. yes... Um, um, we kind of got it to work eventually, and we're here and now. And here you are. Yeah. But most importantly, I'm impressed with how you've grown your brand, like you said, all the great things that you're doing. You represent a number of brands, and yeah. you're also doing your best to educate people. Yes. What would you advise people? First thing to do when they wake up in the morning, with regards to keeping their dental hygiene okay. intact. All right. So it's important. First of all, there are a few basics. Brushing your teeth, flossing extremely important sometimes we, we because we do it every day and we think that it's a basic thing it's so important you should definitely not don't leave your house if you haven't brushed your teeth that's hmm. one thing i'll tell you other people and, who actually do that yeah sometimes you know they someone is busy they just you know rinse their mouth and then they leave home hey. yeah <laughs> so that is definitely important. important and then um don't only go to see the dentist when you have pain or don't yeah. only go to the hospital generally mm. when there's a problem because now we're moving towards preventive medicine yeah uh, there's so many things that could be wrong and you can't tell and a lot of the time I tell people that the dentist office is one place where chance findings happen a lot okay and you know a lot of the systemic diseases things that happen in your body they tell in your mouth oh, okay. so the, your dentist can look in your mouth and tell you that there's signs and symptoms that you may be having anemia or you could be having some form of kidney problems because... By looking in your mouth? Yes. And we shouldn't be losing people um, to conditions like oral cancer yeah. and um, uh, Ludwig's angina and abscesses yeah. and things like that. So... I see. Yeah. Dance hall music mm -hmm. it must be something you like because now we're hearing as well that you manage your husband. Is that true? Are you a manager? I don't know where that story stemmed from. Everybody has come to believe that I manage the Livingstone Foundation. Stoneboy has an entire management team. Oh. Yes, he has an entire management team, but I handle the Livingstone Foundation and not the Stoneboy brand. How do you think this came about? Just I don't, I really don't know. I, I think one time he made a joke, um, like an inside joke. He said management 101. Yeah. And then I think from there, people just assumed that I was It would be bad. I'm sure you do a good job managing him. Uh, or well, is it a job offer you take? Uh, for now, I have a lot. That, yeah. And, you know, Stoneboy is a huge brand, so, you know, I think a team works better. Yeah. Yes. But you, so, of course, if you handle his foundation, that means you guys work together. Definitely. We'll come Absolutely. to that, but beyond that, what's he like at home and how are you people able to manage and have fun and I still mean, be serious? Stone is very, very, a very, very interesting person. He's um, such great and positive vibes at home. You know, he's on the road a lot, but whenever he's home, there is always high spirits. Yeah. He always get everyone laughing. He's very thoughtful. He also cherishes, um, he's a family oriented person, so he always cherishes um, like those moments, like yeah. family moments. So it's always great to, to have, have him. him. Yeah. And at home, he's Livingstone and not, you know, the Stone Boy. Stone Boy is the brand that you see out there, but at home, he is the Livingstone that we all so know. So Livingstone is what, a very quiet person or just... No, he's, like I've described him, yeah. to be fun yeah. and, you know... All that. All the high energy and all of that. Oh, but he has a lot of high energy when he performs as well. Yes, yes, yes. So let's say there's elements of that at home as well. I see. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. But we'll be talking about his music very soon to mm -hmm. see how well I know his music as against you. Okay. Are you ready for that battle? I'm ready. You are. Let's get it on. <laughs> 
But beyond that, so Livingstone Foundation, do you have your own foundation as well, or do you partner? So I work with that? I work with a foundation called um, Operation Smile Ghana, and this is a not-for-profit organization that um, deals with surgeries for people living with cleft lip and palate. Okay. And that is one thing that I advocate for a lot. Mm -hmm. And we're very aggressive with that. Um, cleft lip and cleft palate is a condition where um, there's an opening in your upper lip and in your palate. Yeah. You know, your, your mouth or your lips, as you see them, does not form on its own. Yes. Uh, when you're forming, yeah. when you're in your mother's womb, around the fourth week, that's when your face starts to form. And then there are two shelves called your maxillary processes that come and fuse mm. and then form this. But in some people, that fusion is sort of defective. So when they are born, there's a space there. Mm. And there's a lot of stigma around such people. Um, the stories are very sad. They get People get accused of... Um, 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 upsetting the gods and that's why they're having such children but yeah. this um, foundation provides free surgeries nice. for all people living you just have to call our numbers and come in um, free surgeries free transportation from wherever you are to um, the centers where we have the surgery yeah. free meals everything just to make sure that you can come in and, yeah so we're, we're pushing that a lot um, the um, Next one is in Koforidia from okay. the 15th of June to the 24th of June. Nice. So please, if you know anyone who has this condition, you can have them call the numbers mm. 0540-127-355 or 0502-407-860. Okay. And then you just call, give us your details. You can come in. Everything is free and it's covered by the foundation. Lovely. Yeah. How many people have you treated so far? Is it thousands, counting? thousands. Yeah. So the next one so far, I think we have about 150 people. We're still taking entries for oh. people that come. And you know, one of the people may ask that, what cost is this? Um, some most of the time is hereditary, but mm -hmm. there are also some environmental factors like drinking and smoking mm -hmm. in the first trimester. Um, um, folic acid deficiency. You know when you're pregnant, you have to be taking folic acid. Yeah. But some people can't afford it. They don't know, and so they don't take these um, multivitamins, mm -hmm. and then they end up having children with these conditions. So um, when they come, we educate them a lot so that they don't, you know, have more children with this condition. So okay. that's for Operation Small Ghana. And then for the Livingstone Foundation, which I also manage, um, we're doing a lot now. Currently, we have a borehole project okay. where, you know, Stone Boys um, has been very vocal about Galamse and then the kind of right. negative effects it's having. Recently, we had a pathologist coming out to say that some of the children being born yes. in those areas are being born without genitalia mm -hmm. and some of their, their eyes, ears, and things like that because of the kind of contamination in the water. So Stone Boy has decided to construct four boreholes in one of the um, areas around River Pra where oh, this is happening. So, so cool. that's a major project that we're working on now. So you literally run all that for him? Yes. While he's busy on the road and yes. doing that? Yes. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. it, it must be a lot of work as mm -hmm. well. And how do you fund all this? So for now, Livingston Foundation, our major financier, our only financier is Stone Boy. So, I mean, yeah. Would you would you want people to come on board? Definitely, okay. definitely, okay. definitely. We're open to um, assistance from any because we have a lot planned. We do a lot of other things. Like recently, we had this Mother's Day celebration for some mothers from Ashaiman. Mm. We do a cervical cancer screening and all of those things. So, I mean, there's a lot of work. It's very cost um, intensive, but then yeah. we're open to support as well. What is your favorite Stone Boy song ever? We're not talking just Fifth Dimension, but even beyond that, and you know, looking at all the songs that have come, what's your favorite? Wow. Do you um, have one that you find yourself singing, you know, all the time without even yeah, realizing? Yeah, someone just said Everlasting. <laughs> that that's one of my favorites as well. But um, on this new album, I think Into the Future works really well for me. Yeah. Yeah, I think but maybe ever, that's. Okay, but Everlasting would be like your all-time favorite. Hmm. That's going to be very hard, honestly, hard to pick one. Cause it would be, right? Yeah. Or do you want Mighty Lily? Yeah, Mighty Lily is a good one too. What are we going to do? Well, <laughs> maybe we should play Everlasting first. And when we get back, we have a game to play with Louisa Santa Claus. Okay. So don't go anywhere. This is The Day Show. We'll be right back. Uh. So the 
Saturday show and Dr. Louisa Settler is here and it's time for us to play a game. Please let's walk to this podium. And DJ Filter, you're going to help us play this game. So please choose your team carefully. There's team Dr. Louisa and team Dr. Bella. Yeah. yeah. And so what we're going to do is we want to find out how well you know your husband's songs. Okay. But I'm going to compete with you, and I will try to win. Okay. So if you see that I'm struggling, whisper, huh? <laughs> you know, I'll read your lips. Say something and help me out. Okay? All right. So, Filter, are you ready? I'm ready. So, let's turn off the lights. Whoever knows the song, the title first, will turn it on, and then they'll answer. Okay. Okay. Filter, are you ready? I'm ready. So, we're going to count out together, guys. So, from three, let's go. Three, three two, two, one. one. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> We started. Yeah. You know the song. Yeah. <laughs> Let's it play small. What song is this? Are you sure you want to play this game with me? <laughs> no, but allow the song to play a bit. Maybe it's the chorus I know. Hey. Okay. Because this sound I haven't heard Fair it before. Enough. What okay. song is this? Oh, we should start again. Let's start again. Please play the chorus. Let's go. I found money. <laughs> Do you know what I was gonna say? Holy Ghost Fire. <laughs> Life and money. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so that's track one on the album. Hey, that we don't have celebrity has no more hey. I turned it on fifth. No. Hey. I read. I oh. Who turned it on first? You What's the title? Okay, you tell me. Ah. But you said you turned it on first. <laughs> Okay, I know. Okay, what is it? I, I read. It's more of you. <laughs> oh, it's more of you? So why did you people tell me I read? Let's go. Hey, I know this one. I, I will take it. Ah, hey, 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 hey. Oh, but this is the bill and the show never fool her. Go, Gaga. That's what it's called. Yeah. Okay. We go job. Top life. <laughs> we go make happy. So, so we okay. Go. <laughs> you see why I said play chorus? Okay, let's go. This game is not fair. This is about me, yeah. I know this one. This is fun. Yeah. Bella, we're trying to help you, but you're not helping us. Wait, is it is it close to Subon? Go ahead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know this one, Ogba Jacket. <laughs> so one, zero. <laughs> Let's keep it. DJ, look, Pull up. <laughs> Can you pretend? I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm Can you trying. pretend you don't know his I'm songs? Trying, I'm trying. She got to get. She got to get. She got to get. She got to get. Please let the song play for Lisa Wade. Them no bad. None of them girls them no bad. If them know you them no bad. I'm trying so hard for you. So two two, we're playing five songs. You two so two. So this means that everything I did in the first round is. Oh no zero. no no! Null and void. Imagine this. I'm the one that's judging. Right. Let's go again. Oh, no. by this one I know. Hero. Ah, oh, what's that? Is you? No 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 no. What is going on? Half mark, half mark. Two and a half, two and a half. What is going on here, man? <laughs> you turn it up. Wait wait. 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 It's okay, I'm playing again. <laughs> I saw that coming. Last one. Hey, this is last an Iron game. No, 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 last one. Play some. You see them clearly now. Looking for reasons to take me down. Ignorance plus envy. Okay, wait. Wait, wait. It's not fair. Let's hire lawyers. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, because otherwise. Oh, but I know this one, no. Say it. Tough seed. Okay. Ah. Yeah. You, I was there when you were writing the song. <laughs> okay, final one, final one. Wait, don't don't touch it yet. Let hey, me hold it. Hey, this is Iris. Okay, play it. Ooh, ooh. Oh, really? Hey, wait, 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 wait. I know this one, I know this one. Therapy! Oh, I, did I not win? Yeah, you 
win. You did, you did, exactly. you did. Exactly. So on that note, <laughs> you're gonna have to perform Stone Boy song for us. Which one are you gonna hey, do? Hey, serious? Yes. Hey. Mhm. Mm this is serious. Mhm. Mm you're turning on the lights. No, Anyhow. I know the songs, but the performance. Any of them? Oh, An I easy can't one. Perform. Okay, just sing along. Oh, but I performed into the future with her when I came on. No, that's that was with someone. Okay, let's someone do the apotheke dance then. Oh, actually, yes, let's do that. So we're going to do the apotheke dance um, by Stone Boy. It's one of the songs on his new album, Fifth Dimension. Are you ready? I think I am. You think you are? Yeah. I Me, mean, I know the dance, so if you don't know I it, know, say it I'm now scared. or that's forever why I'm hold your because peace. Because you're going to kill it. That's what she was saying. Then when she starts dancing, <laughs> we'll see her doing. Okay, DJ Filter, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Together, I should be teaching you more. Right, I'm ready. I will come with my sneakers, with my um, sports. No, no, no. I'm I'm Beyonce, so we don't dance in sneakers. We do heels, heels. only. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. So you're joining when can us. I, when can I start classes? Please? Now. Okay. I can teach you a few moves yes, now. Yes, please. Yeah. I'm Except, very ready. No, I'm busy. I have to go and meet the president. So Sorry. maybe another time you Sorry. can come. Sorry. <laughs> but before you go. Um, I know you represent a lot of brands. How's that going for you? It's going great. And look under your chairs, you have some Lilo rice. Oh, they do? Yes. Oh, this is nice. Bring it out, let's see. Yeah. Oh, this is so nice of you, Louisa. Yeah. Thank you so much. So we're doing Ghana Jollof today. Yeah. Ghana Jollof with Ghana rice. And I think it's important that we promote everything Ghana. We eat Ghana, we wear Ghana, we celebrate our artists, we promote anything that is, you know, Ghana. Yeah. So. Um, this is something that I, I just bought for you and your guests. Thank you. Today. That's very kind of you. Yes. We'll be inviting you every week because I'm sure next <laughs> week you bring us something else. Yes. Maybe this time you prepare jollof and bring it. And no we'll problem eat. at all. You, you love to cook, don't you? I do. What's your favorite meal to cook? Um, yeah, jollof is one of the I good see. ones because everybody loves my jollof. I've heard so. I hear everybody comes to your house to eat jollof. <laughs> yeah, they do. So yes. we're going next week. Yeah. You're welcome. To go and eat jollof. You're welcome. <laughs> And thank you, thank you so yes. much for all the great things you're doing. Thank you, you're thank such you. an amazing mother, wife, uh, professional as well. And I see all the great things you do. We want to edge you. you on, so keep thank it up. You. And on the 15th of June, yes, to we're the definitely 24th. coming yeah, yes. to come and support. So yes. give us the details again. Yes, so it's the Operation Smile um, project. And we're performing free surgeries for all persons living with cleft lip and palate. Um, it's going to happen at the Eastern Regional um, Hospital in Kofuridia. So come in. If you know anybody who has cleft lip or palate, just tell them they don't have to um, pay for anything. The surgery is free, transportation is free, accommodation is free, meals are free, everything is free. Just show up. And that's all I can do. Thank you so much, darling. Mm -hmm. And on that note, one more time, I could take it. Maybe we should do it again.